Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Before we get into our session, I just want to take a quick moment and thank our sponsor for this video, which is Fume. I'm so happy to be working with Fume again. I really love their product. I think it is a great idea. Not all habits are bad, you know? <laughs> so Fume is a way to replace a bad habit with something that is a bit more neutral and um, basically just flavored air, not going to do any harm. It has a great design, which um, serves also as sort of like a fidget tool. <laughs> I really love clicking this thing. It has such a great weight to it. I love the simplicity in the design. Um, it has a little spinny function as well, which is functional as in it opens the end of the device to allow more or less air flow. There is no um, like messy oils, no batteries, nothing at all um, that's gonna get uh, messy in your pocket or in your purse. It's just these simple, flavor cores which come in a variety of different flavors which i'll tell you about but just so you see how you take it out you just take it out like this this one is a little old so i'm gonna <laughs> get rid of it and i want to go for a vanilla orange today just selecting a fresh one here placing it in to the chamber and closing the fume just like that and then I like mine open about a quarter of the way. Just yummy, <laughs> yummy flavored air. I reach for this all the time. I find it so helpful. Um, I use it for more of like a nail biting sort of issue that I have. <laughs> and also when I'm just feeling stressed and I might have reached for something else in the past, this is a great way for me to like remember to just kind of catch my breath, take a moment for myself. I do love the hand mouth uh, uh, <laughs> feature here. And just remember to like calm down, take a breath and pull myself away from a bad habit into something a little more neutral. As I said, there are a variety of different flavors. Their original flavors contain maple pepper, which is one of my absolute favorites. I have three favorites, probably. <laughs> um, maple pepper is super yummy, earthy, sort of like a neutral flavor. It's not fruity, is what I mean by that. And, um, a, a bit rich, like on the richer side, I would say, of flavored air. Then they have their white cranberry, which is really delicious and very seasonal tasting, like cranberries and spices. Very, very yummy. The uh, crisp mint is another of my top favorites. I love this. I love the feeling of like mintiness moving through me. It might be a placebo, but I love the way it feels like in my sinuses. I love the smell of mint. I'm just like a mint girl. So um, absolutely, definitely one of my favorites here. Then they have a sparkling grapefruit, which is absolutely delicious, fruity, grapefruity, you know, kind of self-explanatory. There's also a raspberry lemon, which is very delicious and um, to me has like a mocktail sort of flavor to it. Sorry, that's not very descriptive, but a lemony berry mocktail sort of flavor. I enjoy that one as well. And my favorite of that group though is the vanilla orange. So it's like a nice bright orange flavor with a soft vanilla hint to it as well. I love vanilla anything, so that's also a win. And orange too. I do love me some orange or citrus in general, <laughs> hence why that's my third favorite. Fume also recently launched a new uh, upgraded sort of version of their device. It's called the Solano, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which has a beautiful onyx black finish on the metal as well as a premium walnut barrel. It's quite classy looking in my opinion and I think it would make a really great gift. Fume has a generous offer of course for my viewers and subscribers. You can get 10% off your purchase of Fume by going to tryfume.com, the Lunanate, and using my code the Lunanate for that 10% off. That's try T R Y Hello Brain F U M dot com slash the Lunanate. We're coming up on January. I can't believe how fast time is flying. It's usually a time of year that a lot of us are trying to make um, commitments to ourselves, and I think that this is a great way to um, ease any habit breaking that you want to do and kind of replace it with something a little more neutral or a little more 
uh, <laughs> a do no harm sort of habit, you know, that you can uh, pivot with. That's the way that I approach this. Thank you so much to Fume for partnering with me on this video. Thank you so much viewers and subscribers. I love you so much. I'm so grateful to you. I couldn't do this without you. And now let's get into our session. Hello and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Neat. My name is Jillian. <laughs> My 3D name is Jillian. And I'm happy to be creating, hopefully, a relaxing video for you. Something you can use as a meditation tool, as a journaling prompt, as something to fall asleep to, take a nap to, unwind to, decompress to, or even wash the dishes to, you know? You can use this however you see fit. In my real Wow, <laughs> my real life beyond YouTube. I am a Reiki master teacher, energy worker. I know that sounds quite uh, bizarre sometimes, but that's what I do. And I find it to be very therapeutic and ultimately empowering. You know, I really set goals to sort of ground the ethereal, make sense of things, accept mystery, and ultimately use it as a tool for self-growth, development, healing, uh, levels of therapies for myself and for others. So I hope that you enjoy these sessions because those are um, in that way because that's really my intention here. Um, just a little note, but self-promotion. If you like my channel and you'd like to support it, Patreon is a great way to do that. Thank you so much, Patreons, for your support over the years and for particularly the last year. I also have Reiki classes available on Teachable. I used to teach in person and remote and um, hosting classes. Now I have set it up so people can access, access those lessons through Teachable at any time and go at their own pace and they don't have to wait for me to offer a live class. So thank you so much to, so much to those of you who have signed up. It's such an honor to pass on these teachings and practices that have truly transformed my life. So thank you so very much for that. Um, I really appreciate, last thing I promise, I'd really appreciate if you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment, liking, subscribing, whatever feels good to you. If there's something you want to share, if there's something you'd like um, the beautiful community here, myself included, to send, you know, positive thoughts and prayers towards, please leave that in a comment if you feel comfortable doing so. And um, I hope that you enjoy, you know, this lovely space that we've carved out here in the big bad spooky internet. <laughs> Half joking. So our theme for today is about will and about the power of the third eye, the power of creation, the power of directing your, I'll call it psychic forces, your creative forces, your ability to manipulate, to influence, and I mean that in the most benevolent sense, but influence the world around you, to bend it to your will. And I really want to empower us through those, um, the, what I believe as fact, but the potential that we have all to influence the world around us. So I'd really love to cheerlead for you here, to big up you, to witness you as, you know, forgive me if this creeps you out, but witness you as a god, like witness you as this deity or this um, power, this point of connection to all that is that can command time and space and contraction and expansion and moving and slowing down and speeding up and all of these things and calling in what you choose, directing directing here, directing creation. I love it so much and I think it's a beautiful thing for us to kind of sink our teeth into or play with from time to time and really feel our full creative potential, power, direction, etc. So we're going to be working a lot with the third eye in this session. First doing some clearing, plucking to uh, clear away any, let's call it calcification, any blockages of the third eye, any limitations of your ability to imagine, to create, to think big, to feel a sense of connection to that creative force that begins 
up in here <laughs> and then go through some empowerment of the third eye and some direction as well so I truly hope that you enjoy thank you for being here thank you for allowing me to show up this way and supporting this space it's so deeply deeply appreciated thank you so much so i've lit our candles already um, i still have to buy some tea lights and just keep forgetting but we have some dedicated to our um ancestors some dedicated to our guides and this one here dedicated to ourselves and our own personal connection I'm going to begin by using these herb shears that I love to use. I love the sound of it and I love the, the way I, it works. I love the mechanics of this. First, a uh, scissor in the typical sense. So we're going to set intentions of benevolence, of honoring your free will, of only accessing that which your higher self permits, your higher self, your subconscious allows. Um, really making sure that the empowerment here lies within you. This isn't me doing something to or for you, but more so sort of helping you. Or, you know, my intention is to help guide these thoughts, these directings of energy for yourself. And of course, if you're open to it, I am, from my perspective, hosting a by proxy session if you choose to tune into those energies and allow yourself to receive, which I hope you do. All right, so we're going to set an intention to connect with the third eye area, this point of the imagination, this point of intuition, this point of creation as within so then we can direct it as without. So I'm just going to start by just doing some little clipping around the third eye space. Unraveling a thread, a knot woven around the third eye that limits Accessing the seal point.
see yourself influencing the wind or the water or the fire or the earth. See yourself influencing your finances, your relationships, not in a manipulative way as in um, dictating what people do or encroaching on other people's free will. Not that, but what you want.
we are, you know, the creators that we are. How beautiful.